بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على مؤوث رحمة للعالمين نبينا وحبيبنا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد Brothers and sisters, this is the session number 21 and inshallah in it I will try to finish with this uh, noble ayah of the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the greatest ayah, Ayatul Kursi. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَسِيَا كُرْسِيهُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَلَا يَعُدُوا حِفْظُهُمَا So you know the heavens and the earth and the kursi and whatsoever and the creations and everything, the creations, you know, just say creations, whatsoever, which you know that we have countless of them, you know. We don't know what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creates. We just uh, witness what we can see, you know. But out there, Allahu Alam. Those uh, oceanographers, you know, they said when they go down the sea, they, uh, every 10 days they discover a new, you know, species, you know. Every 10 days they discover new creations. So imagine those ones and imagine that the insects and all of these things that are with us, you know. When you go to the forest, it's just sit down there, you will see a lot of different types of creations, you know, subhanAllah. All of them are under the control of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All of them. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, to take care of the whole creation is not an issue with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. SubhanAllah. So this give what? Relief and comfort. That whatever you need, go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He has. And there is nothing big, you know, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything is simple. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَا أُدُوحِذُّهُمَا أَيْ لَا يُكْرِثُهُ وَلَا يُثْقِلُهُ it doesn't make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tired to take care of the heavens and the earth and everything that is in or out of them. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al-ali on top of everyone. That shows the ulul, Allah ala khalqihi, that means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is above everyone. And the hadith of Muawiyah ibn al-Hakam al-Sulami, when he slapped that slave of his, you know, because uh, the wolf came and took uh, his sheep. At the end of the day, he decided to free her. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, bring her first, you know. And then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked her, Ain Allah, where is Allah? She said, Fis Sama, he's in the heaven. And then he said, who am I? Waman ana qalat anta Rasulullah, you are the messenger of Allah. And then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, atikaha fa inna mu'mina. So Allah SWT is on top of all of his creation. That's what the Sunnah and the Quran confirms and there is no any other opinion, you know, that should be supported and confirmed or backed up by any evidence. You cannot have some, something to support any other opinion. So that's the ulu Allah ala khalqihi. Allah SWT ala alin ala khalqihi. He's on top of everyone. That's the meaning of al -zahir. And then he says, uh, uh, and also Allah SWT is Al-Azim, the greatest. The one who is bigger than anything. There is no comparison with Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala at all. That's why there is nothing you can say except to call him Allah. He's unique in every sense, you know. So dear brothers and sisters, this is just a brief of this Surah of Al-Kahf, you know, and you can see, uh, I'm sorry, this is just a brief about this uh, ayah, sorry, I mentioned Surah Al-Kahf because I just finished uh, making tafsir of Surah Al-Kahf. So he says, uh, uh, what I'm trying to say is that this is just a brief about the tafsir of Ayat Al-Kursi. This is just a brief about the tafsir of Ayat Al-Kursi. If we are going to give it right, we need lectures and more time. And you can understand that's why it is called the greatest ayah in the book of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. So read it in every place where the Prophet Sallallahu recommend that you should read it, such as the last part of your prayer. And also, whenever you go to sleep, don't forget to read it before you sleep. That protection will be granted for you, bi'idhnillahi azza wa jal. And don't forget to reflect upon it when you are reading. Just uh, Don't just read it like that, but reflect upon the meaning. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to the truth. See you in the next uh, session, session number 22, inshallah. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.